EV is the wave of the future, and we are very excited with what St. Tammany Parish has to offer. I think we're one of the highest per capita of users for electrical vehicles. Electric vehicles. So it's going to be a huge benefit for uh, drivers of EVs to save on fuel costs, 60% savings uh, compared to gasoline are pretty significant. Transportation expenses are a huge burden on the state. And as EVs come down in price, more EVs hit the market, it's going to be a really big benefit for the citizens of Louisiana. It's great to be with you. Let me first tell you, um, as, as a parish president of Plaquemines, going through five hurricanes and then many storms since then, uh, I want to first thank Lico and all the men and women and all of their contractors that work so hard. Let's give them a round. And we're proud to be partners because now we're installing uh, many of these charging stations at our state parks. We're also looking at putting them at the welcome centers as people come into the state. Uh, if they're running low, they'll be able to pull, pull in to get charged up at the welcome centers while they have a cup of coffee. Yeah, hey, my name is Tyler Herman and I'm project manager of Louisiana Clean Fuels. And what does Louisiana Clean Fuels do? So Louisiana Clean Fuels is a nonprofit here in Louisiana. Uh, we cover the majority of the state, excluding the greater New Orleans area. And basically our role as a Clean Cities Coalition is to assist fleets, companies, government entities with the transition towards alternative fuels in their fleets. Lots of benefits that we can see. Uh, a lot of the, the fuels that we focus on uh, specifically reduce emissions, and uh, the emissions that we're reducing are stuff like NOx and SOx emissions, which cause acid rain that can affect our environments. Uh, a lot of those have uh, leakage, leakages associated with them, like a diesel fuel leakage, in, uh, leakage in, into our water supply, those sorts of things. Um, and then just generally the climate change um, causing emissions, like greenhouse gases. Uh, reducing those is a really, really big priority in a state like Louisiana that's being so impacted by climate change. Yeah, my name is Aspen Nero. I'm the environmental planner at the New Orleans Regional Planning Commission. And I'm also the director of the Southeast Louisiana Clean Fuel Partnership. So that's a Clean Cities Coalition hosted at the New Orleans Regional Planning Commission. Okay, and what would you say your main responsibilities are at the moment, the main projects you're working on? Yeah, so the main projects we're working on is we want to decarbonize our transportation locally. So we're working on anything from helping some of our local parishes, municipalities adopt EV infrastructure, EV policies, and then also just hoping local fleets get into the transition to alternative fuels, whether that's propane vehicles or whether that's EVs or any kind of non-fossil non fuel alternative fuel vehicles. 